Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Studio Live today. And today we're checking out this. It is the Pipa vocal synth from Clev Grand. So we'll be jumping in and taking a look at that in just a moment. If you're here live, hello. If you're watching on the replay, we love you just as much. Now in the video, we're going to be checking out some of the presets and taking a listen to how this sounds. We're then going to take a tour around the app. We're going to record a little ditty, going to record a song, going to do something to check it out and test it out, don't we? And then finally, uh, I'll be answering any questions that you have. So if you're here live, you can uh, join in. We're interactive here. We're live, which means that any Anything can happen and nothing can possibly go wrong. That's the first thing that's ever gone wrong. So this is... This is the Peeper Synth. Uh, it's very cool. It's been out for a few days now. Uh, Clev Grand were kind enough to give me this demo copy so I could take a look and have a little play with it. So I've got it here in GarageBand on my iPad. And uh, like most Clev Grand stuff... Very simple to get started, lots of cool presets, but a whole bunch of stuff under the hood. So that's what we're going to explore in this video. There'll be some timestamps down below if you're watching on the replay so that you can work out where you're at and get to the bit you want. But the basics of this one, let's uh, jump to my notes. The basics of this one is that it's currently $9.99 US to buy this one. It's an iPad only app, so no iPhone, unfortunately. And you can probably tell why with all of the different functions and features we have here, this would be a hard one to dial in on the iPhone. So it's iPad only. There's also a desktop version available there. You can head over to the Clev Grand website to check it all out there. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's very fun. Um, now, before we start... Um, um, I'm not a synth person. So when I talk through this, uh, if you are a synth, per synth person, you're probably going to know more about a lot of the features and functions than I do. But I do like my, I do know what I like. And uh, this has been pretty cool. I've only been playing with it for about 30 minutes and uh, I've, I'm starting to work it out. There's a lot, again, a lot of features under the hood. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at here to start with and then uh, get into it. So without further ado, Let's jump in and see what is on offer here. So when you come in here, you'll see that there's a lot going on here, but don't worry, don't don't stress out. Like a lot of the time you come in here and you look at this and you're like, I don't know what any of these dials do. And don't worry, I haven't quite worked it out yet. But what we can do is use presets. So Clef Grand will give you a heap of presets. So starting here with the general, we've then got some pads, we've got some vocal effects, some leads, some experimental and some basics. And then uh, we can uh, play with all of these. So let's go and uh, start with our mixed voices and this is what you'll get out of the box so it's a now this is the way that they explain this is that this is not like normal vocal synthesis they basically sampled vocals but then they've just got a bunch of little wave tables and then use those so they've said it's quite processor intensive if using the desktop version I haven't used enough of it. I played around with it last night and laid up a few tracks. Uh, as you can probably see, I don't think I deleted them. I think they're still over here. So yeah, let's, let's take a listen to this that I've already created and then we'll create something new at the end. So yeah, you can see it's pretty cool. There's a lot of different voice sounds in here, but we want to uh, we want to start from scratch, don't we? So uh, let's let's delete out all of these and let's do this uh, do this from scratch. Uh, but first, we are going to go through and check out some of the little sounds and some of the ditties that we're going to have in here. So we just delete everything out of there. Come back over here. Now, how do you add this? In fact, let's go let's go one step further. Let's delete this entirely. So we'll delete out here. Now, this is an AUV3 plugin. So if you're using GarageBand, Cubasis, Aurea. Uh, AUM any AU host then you're going to be able to jump in and add it and you do that by going to external here so you go to external you tap on audio unit extensions here in GarageBand and here's all my AUV3 plugins including quite a bit from uh, from Clevgrind already so we're going to tap on PPA and jump in here now I have my MIDI keyboard plugged in I'm using my handy dandy little Korg micro key down here. I don't use it very often, but when I do use it, it's cool because it's very portable um, and it fits on my desk, sort of, with the iPad and the keyboard and everything else going on here and even my coffee. Cheers. Uh, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. Nearly Christmas time. So it's, uh, it's yeah. So we're all set up there. 
and it will come in here to our default sound. So if we can uh, come in here, we can either tap the little right arrow to go to female voices, male, or a human pad. And what you'll notice is every time we change one of these, all of these, all of these uh, uh, preferences are all changing around. So you don't really need to know anything about these, but a good way to learn what each of them do is to actually use your presets because that's going to change things. So if you watch over here as I change this, you can see there that the envelope here changes quite significantly. So this one, the pad, you can see it has a pretty slow attack. which makes sense because it's a pad. And then you go to other ones that are very, very fast attack, yeah? So you can see it goes up, got the very fast attack, the sustain goes through there and then releases at the end. Very short attack, very quick release. So that's the basics of everything. And then all of your other stuff is around in here. So uh, let's just check out a few more of these. So we've got a whole bunch of pads so we can have things like a tremolo chaos. That's going to be pretty insane, uh, like an old organ. A lot of these are a bit creepy and spooky. Uh, I was playing around with this last night and uh, going, oh, I shouldn't do this just before bed. It's a little bit weird. Vocal effects are kind of cool because it gives you all the different sort of sounds. So we've got J. We can go with like an O. Oh, 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 oh. And there's no way to not move your mouth like this. Oh, 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 oh. You, you kind of have to because it's just one of those things where it's the response to go, oh, 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 when you're actually doing things like this. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll dial in a few more of these. So leads that we've got here. So if we come in here and we'll go with like a folk lead. And you'll notice that some of these, like the lead instruments, they're only monophonic, right? So I'll tap on one key. So they're going to create that cool sort of slide effect going between notes to notes. Whereas others, if we go back to the original ones like we had here with our voices, you can actually layer these up obviously and create your... create your nice uh, harmonious parts in there as well. So that's all pretty cool. Plenty of presets to get you started, but let's take a quick tour around the app after I sneeze. Ah, the joy of live, right? Yes, at least I hit the uh, at least I hit the volume button down before before the sneeze, not after. All right. So, let's go right to left because why not? Over here you've got a couple of reverbs. So, if we look here, you've got your normal dark bright, so you can play around with your reverbs if you want something like nice warm reverb on here and we want to give it a lot of verb. So if you're doing like a pad, you can give it a nice amount of reverb and you can change the width of your reverb too, pushing it out to the edges, which is nice. So you can play with that. You've got your room here. So you can go anything from like a little wooden room. Uh, you've got a spa spacey room or even a little closet here or a song booth. So it depends how much space you want. So we'll tight it, tighten it up a bit. So yeah, you can have a little space or that you can uh, yeah bring it out and make a nice bright reverb sound if you want something more uh, So that's pretty cool. Now we'll go through the rest of these. What, what would you use this for? Um, well, I, I like the idea of it as pads. So I think in any sort of music, you're going to be able to use it as a pad. Uh, yeah, it can be a lead as well. There's a couple of cool bass sounds in there that I think would work well as like a second bass just to, to make things a bit interesting. So yeah, I think it's going to have a few uses in here. And we'll, we'll find out as we record a song in just a moment's time. Uh, so we've got our panning up here. You've either got random pan. So this is just going to put the voices spread left and right. So if we have multiple voices, which we do on this one it's going to it's just going to put them wherever we can have a panorama which kind of puts your low voices on the left and your high voices on the right
So that's kind of cool. And then you've got uh, dubbing pan, which I forget what this is. I think this is your, um, this is like one voice. So if you've got two, you've got one voice on the left and one on the right. So it'll put like the male on the left and the female on the right. All right. Uh, there's a lot of sounds in here that are a bit like, uh, if you heard Ben Fold's album, he did his solo album uh, from a few years back. He had a lot of these sort of vocal synth sounds, which sounded really cool. Um, you got the ability to change all of this. You've got body, noise, air. I haven't played with them a lot, to be honest. But then uh, the cool thing is you've got envelopes here for, for gain, for pitch, for dynamics, and for the vowel sound. So you've got a heap of different changes. And as you see, if we, if we go through and change these, it's going to change all of those. So we've got different envelopes for each of these different presets. So the best way to learn that is to come in here and see what each one of those does. Uh, we've got the ability to change here. We've got the vowel sound. So, so all, everything from an ooh down here, so up to an ah. And again, it's impossible to not ah. Uh, impossible not to do that, right? And then you've got your dynamics here. So if you want to make sure you've got a nice, a nice loud sound, or you can have it down for a little bit more. Yeah, cool. Uh, you can have the, the voice here. You can either be male, female, or mixed voice. And you've got your single voice or your multiple voices there. Down here, I should have said this with the envelope, but you've got the LFO here as well. So we can... We can change that up. We've got our rate here. So if we turn that up... If you're into your uh, into your oscillator fan uh, oscillator sound, then you can play around with that. So again, there's a lot under the hood here, and I've only spent 30 minutes, so I still haven't even worked out what everything does. But the cool thing is that we can come in here and we can play around with it. So uh, where was that? There was a cool one that I found here. So we've got kick drum. So this is so you could create your own drum kit from this. You got like a tom drum, <laughs> kind of. A little bit in the air tonight. Um, what was the one that I was really liking? The funky bass. Yeah. Copyright claim. There you go. We're done. <laughs> Finished. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of cool sounds in here to play around with. Now, what I want to do now is let's actually create a song. Because it's one thing to show something like this and just go, oh, you know, it's got some sounds in it. But you're like, well, what do you do with them? How do you layer them up? How do you bring them into an actual track and start sort of being creative with this stuff? And I thought, yeah, let's just do something here on the fly. So uh, what we'll do, we'll come over into our track. Now, because we've got these new uh, new drummers here in GarageBand, I thought we would play around with some of these. So we'll come in here, we'll grab one of our new drummers. Now, it's playing with Maya. What about, I reckon Duncan's our man for today. So synth pop is our Duncan. Duncan is our synth pop drummer. So we'll uh, come in here. What do we want? Uh, maybe like a radio heart kind of, or plastic jungle. That sounds cool, doesn't it? Let's uh, take a listen. Maybe not. Maybe we want something different. Radio heart. What's this one going to do for us? That's it. Yeah, yeah. All right, Duncan, you're hired. Kyle, take a hike, buddy. I love you, Kyle. Don't, don't leave, Kyle. Uh, we, we'll need you again for some rock in the future. So we've got to, we've got our drum beat there. We'll just do a little eight bar loop uh, as a bit of a play around here. We'll click and we'll tap on our peeper here. And again, doesn't have to be GarageBand. Uh, it's not standalone, so it is an AUV3 only, but uh, so you'll need some sort of host. But whether you use GarageBand, if you want something for free or Cubasis or Aurea Pro or AUM, or anything you like, you can throw it in there. But uh, all right, let's just create a little bit of a a little bit of a bass groove here with our drums. We'll hit record. Two, three, four. All right, that's that's going to give us a little bit of a little bit of a bass groove there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we want a bit of a pad sound now, yeah? So let's add in a pad. Add, add a pad. So we'll tap here. Oh, actually, you know what we can do? 
I'll do it this way and then I'll show you the, the quicker way. So we wanna add a second peeper, that's fine. We come in here, we do the same thing again. If you miss the start, we need to go to external, audio unit instruments, throw a peeper on here and goes back to our default mixed voices sound. So what do we want here? I want a bit of a pad sound here. So we'll go to our pad. What's a massive pad? <laughs> it's probably a pad that's massive. All right, let's... um. We'll do it up the top here. All right, let's uh, let's record in a bit of a pad sound here to go along with this. Two, three, four. All right, so we've got ourselves a nice sort of high range pad in there. We'll come back and just. Give this a little mix in, put our drums up the top. Duncan, get on top, get up, get on up. All right, so we've got our two instances of the peeper there. Now, the easiest thing to do here if you want to layer up sounds is to actually just tap in one of these, tap again and tap duplicate, because then it's going to duplicate all of your sound settings down to here. So we can grab a third instance of the peeper. And now we want a lead sound, yeah? So we've got our pad, we want something in the middle here to do a bit of a bit of lead action. So we can again tap here, Go to our leads and let's find a cool lead, shall we? What's uh, what's our vocoder lead? <laughs> okay, this will be experimental at best, but I'll just show you how we can use one of these. One of these, oh, I haven't even shown the pitch and modulation. All right, we'll do this first and then uh, we'll show a few more of the features here, but we'll uh, we'll try and record something in here. All right, wish me luck. No, nope, don't do that. <laughs> I do that every every stream. Two, three, four. We can do better with that. Uh, now I've got my groove. Let's try it again. Do, do. You get this kind of a cappella sound after a while because you've got all of these vocal samples all like mingled and working together here. Now, here's the beauty part. I deliberately made a mistake. Sure. You can't prove I didn't. There was a bung note in here. But here's the cool thing about AUV3, right? As opposed to interrupt audio, we make a mistake. It's all MIDI data. We can go back and fix it. So I think it was in this second pass. We'll come in here and have a play. Yeah, there it is. Nah, nah, nah. That's the note there that we want to target. So if we double tap that one and we go edit, we can come on in and just fix the note. And then it's going to sound dandy. Cool, yeah? Nice, nice stuff. So we can continue layering up there, but that's a kind of funky groove there. And obviously we can then add in other stuff. So if you wanted to come in here and add different instruments, no problem. What's something I haven't played with for a while? <laughs> so we want to play uh, the Hillman over the top of this. So this is... So this is like our uh, um, bit of an organ kind of sound. So we'll go the... the uh, what will we add in here? We'll add a orchestra. Again, we've got, we've got double Clevegrand goodness here. So we'll just add another little additional pad here with the Hillman just to show you how we can layer up sounds and not just use the one thing. Two, three, four. <coughs> So we've got some additional sounds in there. It's kind of fun, it's kind of funky. We'll just turn that down a little bit in the mix and we're good to go. Now there's a few additional features in here that uh, I didn't show when I did the features. So we're gonna have to kind of backtrack a little bit. And then uh, as I mentioned, if you've got questions or you want me to try things or do things here in the app, I then become 
your humble servant and we can do all of those things. But a couple of cool things, like I am using the MIDI keyboard to control this at the moment. If we come back into the app here. So I've got my MIDI keyboard. You can also use the screen, obviously. So if I grab my mouse. And even on the touch screen here, you can hear that you're actually getting the stuff. You, you, you're being able to move it around there. It's very cool. So that's kind of cool. Now, uh, if you're using a MIDI controller and you have your pitch bend wheel, you can actually move things around there. And you'll notice that some of your sounds, because you can actually control and I've forgotten where it is in here, but one of the controls is how much your pitch bend wheel actually changes things. So here in setup, uh, might be setup, yeah, pitch bend range. So if we turn this range down, then there's no pitch bend at all. The more we turn it up, the more we get. So you can see there, we get to one semitone. Oh, it sounds pain, in pain. Oh, oh, yeah, painful. Or you can go all the way up to two octaves, yeah? So 24 semitones, so. You know what I did when I, um, when I saw um, the price of my Magic Keyboard from Apple? I went like this. Yeah, I went, oh, because it hurt. It hurt a lot. So yeah, you've got controls in here and you can actually even use MIDI learn functions to control your different things. You've got your pitch bend and your modulation. So as well as the pitch bend, you've got modulation. So and again, a wow, wow. It's hard to not do that, right? But guess what? Even if you don't have a controller and you've got an iPhone or an iPad with Face ID, yeah, you guessed it. You can use your little face man. Wah, wah, wah. So your little Pac-Man here, as you'll see, as I open and close my mouth, it is tracking my face in a super creepy way and I can use this to control my synth. So let's, uh, <laughs> I can't, I can never do this without laughing, so. So yeah, this is uh, where you've got to, you know, someone got to take a clip of Pete's face looking like a frog, wah, 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 but if we go. Right, <laughs> so you can use your modulation by using your mouth, which I think is kind of hilarious and a lot of fun. So that's kind of where we're at. Like there's a whole bunch of other things we can do. You've got things like your arpeggiator that you can turn on here, which, which is not gonna work because it's not on the screen, but if you're using the screen, touch screen here. So a lot of your other keyboard functionality you're going to be able to use on here as well here in GarageBand. Uh, we've got different scales that we can use here. So again, if you're using the touch screen. That's something that you know, not a lot of people play around with. If you don't know your scales, you're, you're not a keyboard player and you want to get like a nice uh, a lead solo on here. Like if we went in here and we went for, say, like the smooth lead, you don't actually need to know because it's going to help you with the... When I was a wee lad back in Bonnie Scotland, I played ring toss with Patrick Baird. There you go. You can create a, an a instant Scottish, or what was that, Scottish or Irish? I don't know. But you can create an instant classic uh, using, just using the touchscreen here on the PPA. <laughs> If you're having fun on this one, please uh, hit the like button because we like to, you got to infuse music with fun, right? It's too easy to uh, to get serious about this stuff and start talking about low frequency oscillators and, uh, and envelopes and things. And all those things are cool and important, but you know what's more important? Grabbing some cool sounds and having some fun and experimenting. Going to your experimental, what haven't we tried? Oh, there's a Koto in here. <laughs> nice. Um, and it is weird that this is called the peeper. 
because as you may be aware, there is a peeper instrument, the bee's knees. There is a peeper instrument, which is an oriental instrument that is actually right here in. I forgot that I still had that little man mouth on. I'm like, why is it doing that when I'm going, mwom, mwom, mwom. yeah, I don't know. Um, all right, let's check my notes to make sure we've covered off on everything. Uh, yeah, I think we have. We've done everything that we wanted to do here today and I've covered everything. So yeah, again, thank you to Clev Grant who provided me a copy of this to play around with here today. And uh, if you do want to pick one up, it is 50% off up until January. So if you do want to get in and grab it, it's $9.99 US at the moment. If you want to play around with some vocal samples or, or uh, your local currency equivalent, excuse me a moment. Uh, so now let me jump over now that we've had a play with that, we'll jump over and have a chat to the folks who are here live, because I know I normally do this earlier, but I wanted to get in and get everything done. So we've seen a bunch of people here. I'll just go right back to the top. So hello to uh, the Toolmats here. We have Michael, who was in the house. Alex Backus, hello to you. Michael, aka Zealand Band. Danny Broderick is here. Nina, hello to you. I'm going to miss people, by the way. I apologize in advance. Stu Cash in the house. Gino Therese, all the way from Chicago. Uh, we've got too many people to mention. Um, scrolling down. Doctor, hang on. Dr. Zorders. Yep. Uh, Dr. Zorders, uh, head carrot in the carrot patrol. Um, and we've got a bunch of other folks here. Daryl, good day to you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Gordon Penny dropping by. Good to have you here. Ed Zed. Always a pleasure. Uh, hello, Peppy. Uh, first talk. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen you in the in the live chat before, so welcome aboard. Welcome to the menagerie. Welcome to the carrot farm. Uh, Aunty G's late. Yeah, you're going to have to go back and check it out because we had some fun at the start without you, and you don't want to miss out on that. Gary Hubs is working hard. I saw Gary has a EP that he's putting out of his four songs from the year, which is very exciting. Well done to you, mate. Uh, Jessica, Jan, but return Jade's um, lawnmower, please. Jessica Jan, hello to you. And uh, David Thiessen, yeah, get it, man. Uh, right uh, deep gravity in the house um, sounds like funky pet shop boys yeah in a western town in a dead end world uh, well. uh, <laughs> yeah you can get a bit of that going on um, uh, who else have I missed uh, saying good day to yep definitely need carrots Jade, you need some carrots. Absolutely. Daft Punk, watch out. Yeah, what's the... If I, if I don't get a... If I don't get some sort of copyright infringement after this... Yeah, a bit of Devo. We are Devo. A little bit of Devo going on there. I never replied to your comment. Well, I do try my best to reply to everybody's comments, so uh, I apologise if I haven't. Uh, it's uh, it's probably on my list of things to do. I'm, I'm usually only about a day behind on comments, and I do try to reply to all comments, but sometimes uh, it's hard, right? Time is limited. Time is limited. The Hillman is the glue. You're right, David. The Hillman uh, synth is very cool. Great pads with the Hillman. Hello to Daniel from Argentina. I hope you're doing well over there in Ma Ar Argentina. That's a different place. <laughs> I just made that one up. Argentina. Yeah, you gotta love a you gotta love a pentatonic major, don't you, Gino? Like that's 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 the that's the bomb. The bomb diggity is the pentatonic major. And uh, again, if 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 anyone hasn't played around with this, the scale option here it's available in most of your instruments, and it just means that if you're using the touchscreen. It just means that you can create a melody and you just can't go wrong. It can't be out of tune because it helps you. And you can do it in all the different ones. So you've got a bunch of different... You can even do like Japanese. So I'm saying. So all the different scales from around the world. Mixolydian. <laughs> Bit of jazz going on there. Uh, Dan Baker's like, Pete, you need to explain these better. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. But yeah, if you, if you want to learn your music theory and learn about scales and all the cool things, Dan Baker's your man here on YouTube. A uh, quick bit of cold coffee. 
We'll continue on. Uh, yeah, it is good stuff. I, I, I enjoy playing around with things like this. Like I said, I'm not a synth person, so I'm not a synth person per se, but I do enjoy a bit of synth time from every now and then. GarageBand is correct, Kuchitat. Uh, we are using GarageBand. Uh, yes, it is. It's just a, it's, it's a fun little app. Look, is it going to be for everyone? No. No, and that's the thing. I'm never. I'm not going to line up here and say that you should buy every app. Obviously, I don't buy every app. Uh, sometimes the the uh, the devs are kind enough to give them to me, and I play around with them, and then I show you what they can do. And if if it just gets your creative juices flowing, and uh, sounds a bit weird, uh, and and just gets you thinking about things, then that's cool. But yeah, make music with whatever you've got. Uh, you don't need to buy everything. And I wouldn't suggest it. You will go broke and not be producing music if you do that. Uh, Get telephone. Hello to you. Tom Kuehl in the house over there on Facebook. I hope you are doing well as well. Uh, who else did I see sneak in the, the back door? Uh, it is uh, uh, Jude. Hey, Jude over there on the uh, Create Record Release Group. Thanks for dropping on by. Uh, Lady Rodeline, thank you for being here as well. Um, all right, so I don't know if you've seen it yet, but MIDI Guitar 2 is now... Oh, Danny, MIDI Guitar 2 is now an AUV3. Is it really? That is something that I've never checked out, but I've been meaning to, and one of the reasons I haven't is the lack of AUV3. Uh, actually, I saw someone doing a, a video saying, Tone Bridge is now AUV3. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was a AUV3 before. I know I had the issue where you couldn't save in your presets, but yeah, it's always been AUV3, hasn't it? One, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that is cool. So maybe it's time for me to finally take the plunge and play around with MIDI Guitar 2. Because that would be cool. You could, <laughs> What you could do is you could use MIDI Guitar 2 to uh, play in some MIDI parts and then copy and paste them over to, uh, to the peeper here or to any other thing. Whack. Whack that microphone. Because as you may know, or you may not know, you can actually move things between different uh, instruments here. So because this is all just MIDI notes, so we've got this peeper sound here. At the moment, it's on, on the peeper. So we can just actually move this and just stick it on a human, right? And then we'll play the human sound, and it will be the peeper, but it'll now be on the human. <laughs> right? So, such is the beauty of AUV3, like any different sound. So if we came here, let's just have some fun with this, shall we? We just want to grab the Ravenscroft 275. Beautiful piano sound. And we want to put some of these sounds on here. So let's just grab uh, grab this one here and bring this down onto the Ravenscroft 275. Then you can see we've got a completely different sound now. Right? Thus is the power of AUV3, is that you can move things around. Once you've entered it in, once you've got these green notes, they can go anywhere. They can go, in, they've been everywhere, man. They can get around, round, round, they get around. So that's very, very cool. But Danny, I will have to check that one out in, in the future. Darren Anderson in the house. Hey, Pete. Hey, Darren. How are you doing, my friend? Hope things are going well up there in Queensland. Shout out to my friends in New South Wales. I know, uh, Lob, it's your turn. I'll put it into your court now. So I know Victoria have had some challenges. Uh, South Australia had a wee little blip of a second uh, second wave. And now New South Wales over there in the uh, Sydney area. So if you're in Sydney, uh, yeah, my thoughts are with you as well as those in the rest of the world because I know we don't talk about it much around here because uh, you know people will be watching this in two years' time and hopefully it will be a distant memory. But uh, yeah, I do want to acknowledge that. The reason I do this show is that I don't talk much about it is that this is your chance to have the break and just have some fun and talk music for a while, yeah? Absolutely. Uh, Ed Zed says, Dan Baker, and another great site for music theory is non-educational, though, is Ol Oliver Pren. There you go. You're getting it all. You're getting all the info here. Absolutely. Getting all the info here. Uh, <laughs> got questions going on. Does MIDI guitar 2 have good guitar sounds? I don't have an electric. You know, it's more for playing in MIDI sounds with your guitar, Ed. So if you don't have a guitar, if you don't have an electric guitar, it's not going to be much good for you. Uh, but yeah, no one's really cracked it, have they? No one's cracked the 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 really good guitar sound, like good virtual guitar sound, like the, <laughs> the garage band guitars. They try hard, bless them, but they're really not the best. So if we come in here... Uh, and you, we wanted to add a guitar. Yeah, if you don't actually play a guitar, you're kind of stuck with the virtual guitar sounds. And look, some are okay. Like if we go with the Roots Rock, I actually don't mind this sound these days. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, it's it's an okay kind of sound, and if you play your uh... so yeah, you've you've got some decent sounding guitars in there, but it's still a little bit nineteen nineties MIDI guitar, isn't it? Don't you think we should have something better by now? Maybe, no, maybe not. That's just my view, anyway. But uh, yeah, it, it would be cool to have some a new guitar synth. And I've, I've often thought about it. I think I think the solve for this would be to have an app that was guitar loops, but it just played like chord loops. Because a lot of a lot of loops just try to do too much. You kind of just need like power chord. Let's simplify it. Let's make the power chord app. Or let's just make samples of power chords. I reckon if I just a just like eight different patterns doing all the different power chords and all the different things, and then you could just layer those up. I think that would be that would be something that would be cool. That would be something I would want if I didn't play guitar, because getting good quality guitar sounds is uh, is a challenge. Um, let's see if we've got any fine... Oh, there you go. Yeah, run the, run the GB Guitars through Mixbox. I'm sure that will help. Yeah, it probably would, Tom. And uh, I've definitely done that before. So I've pushed them through amps, I've pushed them through Tonebridge and some other amps and, uh, and through Stark, and they do sound better. And if you don't know how to do that, but oh, actually, yeah, that's a good point, Tom. Tom's, Tom's made a good point. We won't show it here now. <laughs> yeah, palm, palm mute chugging is what you need. All you need is palm mute chugging on your guitars and you're golden, Gary. Uh, but yeah, the, the guitar here, because if you've got an AUV3 plugin, you can actually add it directly to here. You only get two slots, but say you wanted to go and one of them that may or may not be part of my uh, app of the my free app of the year, by the way. We've got free apps of the year coming up tomorrow. There you go. Spoiler alert. Well, not really, but this is going to be in there. This is the Crunk V2 from Nembrini. Free guitar amp sim that sounds pretty good. Yes, I know, Nembrini, you're good. I like you a lot. So if we come in here and we turn on like a crunchy guitar sound, then suddenly we've got a little bit more going on with our guitar, right? So we come in here. <laughs> So you can actually go through a plug in here and you can change it up so you want some some big beefy lead sounds. And yeah, it's a little bit too much on the crunchy side. So you do have to play around and tweak it to get it sounding better, but even like a clean sound. So yeah, you get some some decent different sounds here. So I know we're getting way off track here, but uh, yeah, again, I just wanted to make sure that we covered off on some of this and answered some questions. But yeah, there you go. Tomorrow's show is going to be epic. I'm going to have to go fast because we're going to have an hour to get through my 10 most used free apps of 2020. Got my work to do today to get all of those. I still, still haven't got the final 10. It's a, it's a tough one. I'm sure you can guess some of the ones that will be there, you know We'll have Crunk will be in there, and uh, yeah, you know that LRC5 is going to be in there. Probably wider by Infected Mushroom, but that's, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I got to say about that, because uh, join, join us tomorrow uh, for that one. And then the next day, guess what? Yeah, we got the Christmas edition of Your Music Live, an early edition, special early edition Christmas edition of Your Music Live. That'll be happening Wednesday afternoon or evening for most of you, Thursday morning for uh, for me and those here in Australia. And then I'll be doing a bit of a Christmas related rant. Well, not really Christmas related. It's just because it happens to be the day before Christmas, but we'll be doing a Christmas rant uh, before, uh, after that. So hopefully, hopefully you can join me for those, but uh, we're kind of done with this one. So let's, uh, let's summarize again. So with the Peeper app, we're, play, we're playing around so much now that it's all over the place, but if we come back over here, if you missed the start, what is the Peeper? It is a vocal synth. From Clevgrand, it's going to set you back $9.99 US at the moment. It's on sale for half price. It's going to go up to $19.99 in January, but for now you can get it for $9.99. Thank you to Clevgrand who gave me this copy to check out. There's a whole bunch of presets that we can come in here and play with. There's a heap of options here, but don't be daunted by all these options. Again, happy, I'm always happy to stick around in preset land and... Wah, wah, wah. And uh, yeah, don't forget that if you want to look a little bit foolish, you can use your... You can use your mouth <laughs> to, uh, to change your, your modulation there. Really good to use on the touch screen, as you can see. But really comes alive like most apps with your MIDI keyboard. A lot of stuff going on there. 
We're going to finish up there because I don't want to keep you here if we're already done. So check it out. Go and uh, source it out. Uh, there's a heap of other videos. Doug from the Sound Test Room uh, reviews most apps, so he's got a review on this. Clevground have actually themselves have a really good overview. So uh, search out Clevground Peeper. Plenty of other folks sharing more information. But hopefully uh, this gave you some ideas and some things. Uh, what you need to do now, we're a bit early, but in 20 minutes' time, Jade Starr will be checking out another Clevground app. Ooh, what is uh, what is that? Uh, we'll uh, we'll be finding that out. Oh, we got some final questions here. Okay, we'll, we'll answer them. Uh, we'll, we'll jump in because we've got a bit of time. I know this is off track, but I'm getting dull spots in my vocal recordings, and I can't work out why. I'm using the same settings I always use. Dull spots. That's uh, yeah, that's that, that's sounding a bit weird, Lady Rod Line. Uh, maybe, maybe jump over if you're a part of the Create Record Release Facebook group. Um, maybe jump over there and uh, and ask the crew there. Or uh, yeah, we've got uh, we've got another Ask Me Anything and, and Q and A show on the weekend, so maybe we can help you troubleshoot some of those there. And uh, Jimmy is looking for an app that will correct my voice to a MIDI note. I tried Voxen, but some of these settings sound like my voice. Uh, yeah. Another good question, um, and I know that Jade has checked out a bunch of vocal apps. So while you're over there, while you're waiting in the next 20 minutes, uh, oh, we've just lost it. <laughs> Apparently, I have 40 minutes only to use my iPad, and then it just stops. Uh, but while you're over at Jade Star's channel, check out. She's done a whole heap of Voxen and other vocal apps, so you can check all of those out and then get ready for her review of another Clev Grand app. Is it Corv Presser, I think, that you're doing today, or is it Cleverb? Um, I'm unsure which one it is, but go over to Jade Star's channel and check it out. Yeah, unfortunately, the links are not working and I don't have the link handy, but uh, just search Jade Star with two R's on the YouTube and check out her show. And I think Joey Helpish is doing another episode of his show today as well. That's going to do it for me, an early finish here today, but thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for uh, all your support. And as we say at the end of every show, please be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, keep creating. Rock on, folks.